How's it going? My name is Timothy Ward with RickHands.com and today is the first in a series of videos that we're going to be doing in which we talk about the different positions and different jobs on an oil rig. Now a lot of people have kind of asked uh, about this subject because when they're filling out applications or they're looking at uh, ads that companies have posted for workers, they see these different job positions but they have no clue kind of what they are. So it kind of makes it hard to decide what position to apply for. So we felt it would be, it would be very informative uh, to just kind of do a series of video where we take the standard positions on oil rig and just do a video about each one and basically kind of explain what that position is. So today we're going to be talking about the roustabout position um, and this is also sometimes called the least hand position. Now this is the lowest, lowest, lowest position on the rung, on the ladder, lowest rung on the ladder uh, in the oil rigs. Uh, in fact, some rigs don't even have this position. They start at floor hand, but many times the newest floor hand on the rig will basically do the same thing that a roustabout um, or a lease hand would do. And since it is the lowest position on the ladder there, as you can imagine, you do all the jobs basically that nobody else wants to do. Um, there's a lot of cleaning of the rig, uh, things like painting, um, you know, anytime someone needs, if you've got to run and get something, you know, you're, you're the gopher, you're the one that has to go and get it. Basically all the back breaking, manual labor, stuff that nobody else wants to do that doesn't really require too much skill, that's what you're going to do. Uh, it's pretty much, like I said, a support position. Uh, just you do whatever it takes to keep uh, the more experienced hands to allow them to keep doing their job and doing it well. Um, the good thing about the roustabout position, you really don't need any experience in the oil uh, industry um, because it's, you're mainly doing things that you could have learned in other industries. So there's really no experience necessary. It's a great position because it allows you to learn about the rigs and kind of see what's going on uh, without having to, from day one, jump in and, and be doing anything. So it's really a good position that allows you to grow on the rigs and as you're helping out you learn what's going on, you see what's going on and you can be taught. Um, like I said the rig I started on didn't have a roustabout position but since it was a six-man crew I was a floor hand but that's basically what I was so um, eight hours out of a 12-hour shift, eight or nine hours I was pressure washing, um, I was scrubbing <laughs> like I said, a wide variety of things. Uh, whenever the motor hand needed some help and he was uh, elsewhere, you know, I'd go with him and, you know, he was showing me things and I was carrying tools. Uh, whenever uh, we were unloading or loading something, I was the guy over there. Whatever back-breaking work there was, uh, that's basically what I was doing. But majority of the time, like I said, I was just cleaning. Like, it wasn't... Uh, it, it wasn't hard at all, it was just messy and nasty. Um, but it allowed me to be on the rig floor and I saw what was going on. That way when they needed me for something, I did have a little, you know, I, I said, oh, well, I kind of know where that is because I was on the floor and I'd heard them calling, you know, certain things, certain things. So it's a very helpful position. Uh, some of the things that it might help you to have experience in, um, some things like forklift operation, um, man lifts, scissor lifts, uh, things like that. There are, there are pieces of equipment and machinery around there that you may uh, be at, called upon to run and if you have experience in those that can be helpful. But pretty much if you're looking to work on the rigs and you don't have any experience, if you see a roustabout position, lease hand position, this is kind of experience you, uh, the position you want to go for because this is probably your best bet to get in and learn and then move up the ladder. So Hope that's been helpful. Um, please subscribe to this channel. Like I said, I'll be going running through all the positions on the rig. Um, then after that, lots of other videos. Um, please check out RigHands.com. I will leave a link in the description box below. Also, we'll leave a link to the Facebook page, the Rig Hands Facebook page. Please go there, like us. Um, we put out lots of different. Uh, reports and links and there's a lot of people who are in the rigs right now they get on there and they post pictures and and comments and it's, it's a great resource so that combined with the actual rig hands website which is wonderful it's got a forum a career center there's a news section can be getting the blog started on there uh, two great resources if you're in the rigs or if you're uh, thinking about working on the rigs so like I said I'm Timothy Ward and thank you for watching I'll see y'all next time